Yo, what is good guys? It's the Terrible Thief, or Sean, back with another video. How are y'all doing? It's been a minute since I've been making content, and uh, I'm sorry about that guys. Just, I've been busy lately, and I recently went on a trip for uh, spring break. But yeah guys, I'm gonna start holding myself more accountable, and uh, I'm gonna try to create more content for y'all. But uh, yeah, I also got a new cut, so just let me know if y'all fuck with it, because I kind of fuck with it. Um, it's a low taper fade, so I kind of wanted to get something like shorter, but like something that still like showed off my curls. So that's kind of why I went with this cut. But um, but uh, this video is gonna be pretty different from the content I have been making lately because lately I've been doing like a ton of story times and shit, and um, I'm actually about to start a new job. I'm actually gonna do some landscaping over the summer with my friends, but. The only issue, or I wouldn't say like issue, but like, I guess the main thing with that is that I have to be able to pass a drug test. And y'all know that I smoke a lot of weed. And I honestly, I feel like now that like the opportunity has came up for me to quit weed and for me to like get a new job, I think I'm going to try it because I feel like I kind of owe it to myself in a way to get sober. Because like when I first started smoking, I told myself that I'd get sober eventually. And I never got sober. Like I've been a fucking smoker uh, for like a year now, you know? And I told myself it would end at some point, but it, that some point just, I guess, never came around, you know? So I just, in a way, I feel like I owe it to myself to get sober. And also just another thing is I'm like, yeah, why not a better time than now to fucking um, take a break from weed? Cause like, I felt like when I first started smoking, like weed was like really good and I felt like it was just doing something for me. You know what I'm saying? And just like felt so amazing when I first discovered it. Like when I first started smoking, I'm like, this is fucking it. Like I found it. But after a while, I guess it just gets to a point where it just doesn't really do that much for you anymore, you know? And like now I'm kind of just questioning myself. I'm like, damn, why do I still smoke weed? Cause it's just, it doesn't really even like feel good as it used to. And I feel like if I take like a a month break or like five to six weeks, maybe I feel like that's going to give me enough time to like reevaluate my relationship with weed. And I feel like that's going to give me enough time to like get on like a better relationship with the plant. Cause I feel like it's important to have a good relationship with weed instead of just smoking all day. Because if you smoke all day, it just gets to a point where it just doesn't really do anything. And it's just like, meh. And then like, Another thing I found out is that it's just kind of hard to like have fun sober when you're like a daily smoker sometimes You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes you're so you're just like damn Like I, I just look forward to the weed too much sometimes and I just feel like if I take a big break and When I come back after those those 30 days or five weeks or whatever the fuck When I come back to smoking, I'm definitely gonna like Ease into it, you know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna fucking smoke on the daily like I have been doing. Like, I, I don't know, I'm probably not gonna get an, another card again, which I've been thinking about that. Like, but for the most part, I'm gonna try to stick to bud because after my break, it's just gonna be easier to regulate because you can't just fucking light up a J anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Like, with a fucking dab pen, you can hit a dab pen damn near anywhere, but like, I don't know, I just I feel like I've been making excuses to get high and I feel like it's like a devil and an angel on my shoulder and like there's one part of me that's like no man you need to get sober you need to lock the fuck in you have a drug test right and then there's like another part of me that's always trying to make an excuse to smoke like there's like this little voice saying come on bro you worked out you had a long day you deserve to smoke like I don't know there's like an inner conflict going on but um I can lock in, I got this, and today's gonna be like my last day smoking probably, um, for a minute, you know? I'm going to a party with some friends, and uh, my friend's buying some weed, so. But yeah, for example, like yesterday, my fucking truck broke down. That's why I'm not in my truck, as usual. So my truck broke down, and I was literally, I was literally, but guys, uh, my truck broke down yesterday, and it was just kind of a pain in the ass, cause like, I fucking stick my key in it, I start the bitch, and it's like, like it almost fucking started, you know? 
but um, the battery wasn't fucked up or anything. It was something else that's wrong with it. And I did get my ignition uh, recently replaced. So I don't know. I'm just going to have to figure something out, which I'm driving my mom's car right now. It's all good. But um, that just kind of pissed me off. And my friend had a dab pen yesterday. And I was just like, fuck it, man. I kind of need it. It was my third day sober. So I was just like, fuck. And I just relapsed, you know. And uh, it was just kind of a shitty decision because, like, the main reason I was doing it, too, was just because I was, like, sweating a lot and I didn't want to ruin my shirt. And I was, like, hella antsy, too. But, like, I like being sober, too. Like, being sober feels good after, like, a long time of just smoking. It feels like waking up again. You know what I'm saying? It feels like waking up from a deep sleep, kind of, which is nice. And the only thing that's, like, weird when I'm sober, though, is, like... I can't tell if time is moving faster or slower, if that makes sense. Like, sometimes when I'm sober, time feels to, like, move by, like, really slow and, like, everything just boring as fuck. Or sometimes, like, time just goes by super fast and I'm just, like, having a really good time sober. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I don't know. Because a lot of people talk about the initial, like, withdrawals, how they suck. But, like, even sometimes after, like, a day of no smoking, I feel great, you know? And then, like, the next couple days, I might feel like shit. Like, I might not be able to sleep. I might sweat a little bit. But, like, there's no really, like, easy way around with, with the withdrawal symptoms from weed. Because I was using a lot of, like, carts and shit, like, um, from the dispensary. And a lot of those carts have, like, 78% THC. And uh, when you get off of that shit, you're just going to fucking sweat. Like, you're, gonna, you're definitely going to have withdrawals when you're, like, using products that have a really high percentage like that. But with, like, regular Bud, regular Bud only has, like, 17 to, like, 28. Most most of the time, you know, most strains do. And that's just, like, a way lower percentage of THC. And the thing about Bud, too, is that it's, like, harder to smoke. So, like, when I get back to smoking again, I'm mostly just going to stick to Bud. And I'm going to try to make smoking weed more of, like, a planned thing instead of, like, a everyday thing. Because I feel like when you make an everyday thing, you just kind of get reliant on it. And you just create, like, a functional dependency for yourself, which is kind of fucked. And that's what I have noticed. Like, I've noticed, like, I am I feel like shit or I'm not happy without it sometimes. And I just, I want to fix that. And I, wanna, I need to learn how to be happy without it. So, that's part of the reason. But I'm going to keep y'all in tune with uh, fucking daily updates, maybe weekly updates on how I'm doing. But, yeah, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And uh, peace.